Do you find your skin sometimes gets parched and dry in the wintertime and you're looking for key ways to hydrate, but in a way that tastes really good? I'm Hannah Mason, and in this episode of You Don't Know Beans, we're going to be exploring the hydrating and oh-so-delicious zesty orange. So oranges have actually become my fruit du jour. I love the way they smell. I love their color. And recently I've been really enjoying the taste of oranges, which might not seem so bizarre if you know me and you know how much I absolutely love fruit. But if you watched me growing up in the middle of an orange grove in Florida, you would have seen that I had plenty of orange juice, but I never actually picked oranges and just like ate them straight. Um, and for some reason recently, I just got it in my head to start peeling oranges and just eating them by the slice. And I'm absolutely loving it. And one of the things I really like about oranges is that they're so incredibly rich in water. So we have a lot of water rich fruits that are available to us at different times of year. In the summertime, melons like cantaloupe or honeydew or watermelon, or if you're here in Israel, there's like 20 other different kinds of melon that you can buy. They're so rich in water. So they're very hydrating, full of minerals also. So when you drink a glass of water, you're just getting the H2O. But when you sweat or when you speak, you're releasing and what's evaporating from you isn't just water, there's also a lot of minerals and salts coming off of you. And you need to be able to get those minerals and salts back in. So it's really cool when you can eat foods that give you um, a complete hydrating electrolyte experience and not try to drink that really nasty soda stuff that they're selling as an electrolyte beverage that's really, really just soda with food coloring. Um, so oranges are really great for that. And they're chock full of water and chock full of vitamin C. Now, melons are great in the summertime, which is when they grow, unless you happen to live in the desert where they've managed to miraculously grow everything at almost every time of year. But normally, for most people throughout the world, you can only get melons in the summertime, and that's where they're really great and incredibly hydrating. But in the wintertime, we have fruits that are really hydrating, really nourishing and chock full of what you need in the winter more than anything else, which is vitamin C. Orange is really great because they come with their own skin. You can travel with them. You could take them on a picnic and you're not going to be worried about them getting like mushed and disgusting in your backpack like a banana or an apple. They don't really bruise. They travel really well. So I want to teach you my little trick that I learned from the cafeteria lady in elementary school, which is the following. So you cut off the very top of the orange and then you score just the edge, just the skin. You don't go into the orange. You just score it four times going down. And then the orange will just very quickly peel for you and you can eat it just like that. Um, if you want to make a really powerful electrolyte beverage for when you're doing intense exercise like the Jerusalem Marathon, which is coming up in a couple months, what you can do is take an orange squeeze out its juice, mix that juice with water, honey, salt, uh, particularly a really mineral rich salt like uh, sea salt or Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt is really good for this. Um, and a little bit of baking soda. And that's really going to give you a rich electrolyte mix. Thank you very much to my midwife, Joyce, for teaching me that when I gave birth because I needed a boost of electrolytes. So that's a really great electrolyte drink that you can make for yourself very easily, much, much cheaper, way more, more nutritious and chemical free uh, so that you don't have to go buy that neon blue stuff from the shelf that's actually going to make your body way more acidic. And what you want is to get your body way more alkaline, particularly if you've done a lot of exercise, you want to give your body not just minerals and not just hydration, but also the ability to heal and recuperate. And if your body has to process acid, it's going to do the opposite of healing. If you've ever poured acid on something in the outside world, or if you've had acid poured onto your skin, you can see how it burns. You don't want to bring acid in. Now, sour foods aren't acidic, right? Sour foods are often alkaline by the time your body's done processing them. So don't worry about that. But um, certain beverages like sodas are really acidic to the body, even once you've processed them. It's a nasty stuff. So 
Hopefully you learned something about the delicious orange. Hopefully you'll go out to your store because they're also really cheap and easily accessible just about anywhere in the world. Bite into your orange, maybe not from the skin, maybe peel it first. And if you're looking to up your vitality game, get in touch with me. We can set up a free discovery session where we can clarify health goals and life goals for you. I make a plan of action for manifesting those goals and giving you the accountability you need to make it all happen. You can get in touch with me here on Facebook or on my website at hannamason.com. In the meantime, wishing everyone many beautiful joys. Want to find out what's blocking your vitality? Quickly take the quiz at hannamason.com slash health quiz.